We got senior citizens walking around scared. Our elders. Men got to protect our community, man. I tear it down. First up tonight, you need to know about a star student and a star basketball player. 15 years old, Maurice Scott, was gunned down yesterday. But why? He was just walking to the store, just steps away from his Southeast D.C. school, Somerset Prep. A nine-year-old girl was also injured when a gunman there just started firing. Janice Park tells us one council member rushed to the scene when he heard those shots. D.C. police are trying to figure out who would shoot a nine-year-old girl, two adult females, and shoot and kill a 15 year old boy who was an honor student. Now they're back out here today because the shooting happened yesterday morning and they tell me that they're reviewing some security camera footage, most likely from this liquor store right here. And sadly, Maurice Scott was killed just a block away from his school, which is right up here. Senior citizens walk around scared. Our elders, men gotta protect our community, man. I tear it down. A mother and her nine year old daughter and niece an honor student Maurice Scott, all shot by a gunman who DC police say got out of a passenger side of a car and opened fire Sunday. Ward 8 Council Member Trayon White was nearby when the shooting happened, and he ran to the scene. First, I heard the shots. It sounded like explosions. It's a horrifying scene to see, you know, uh, clothes on the ground, people screaming. The young JV basketball player is the only one who did not survive. His personality shines in a video he made for his school, Somerset Prep. Uh, three things I like, uh, basketball, I like school. Scott's basketball coach says the 15-year-old was a leader who took pride in working hard to get good grades. For his teammates, his murder has left a deep scar. You lose a friend for walking to the store and you know he have nothing to do with nothing? That's crazy. White says at least 18 children have been shot in Ward 8 in just the last nine months. He says they can no longer rely on police. They plan on taking their community back Friday night by meeting at Malcolm X and MLK at 6.30 p.m. You know, this we, we're experiencing this over and over again so much. It's just traumatizing. We need some real healing in our community. And there is a $25,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. If you have any information, call D.C. Police. We are in Southeast D.C., Janice Park, WUSA 9.